answers. He hears me and the answer comes in his time. Oh, my heart I give him each day in fervent prayer. His gentle Sabbath to everyone. This is now our platform for our worship this Holy Sabbath day. Now we will give to our participants today. Sister Mercy, good morning. Good morning, Brother Glenn there in Thailand and Sister Irene in the whole family and to every families who have joined us. Good morning to us all and happy Sabbath. Morning, Brother Happy. Roger. Happy Sabbath. Happy Sabbath. Happy Sabbath. What about our participants? Uh, we may call on is uh, sister. Participant. Yeah, the participants are around, Brother Raj. You can start now. Okay. Uh, thank you so much. 
uh, our time now is exactly nine year uh, nine oh six year in uh, Mindanao or Philippines. So this is the first Sabbath of the month July, right? How are you, brethren? By the grace of God, doing good. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Brother Raj. Glory to God. Yeah, that's good to hear. Our uh, Sabbath school participants uh, this morning, but before that, uh, we have this uh, theme, when the storm breaks through ship, we'll hear the true a shepherd's voice. So parang related siya dito sa John 10, no? Uh, 27. My sheep hear my voice and I know them and they follow me. Parang magka ano lang sila, no? So I am tasked uh, this Sabbath to be a presider. So without uh, without much further ado, our chorister this morning will be Sister Joyce G. Lee. And uh, since inspiration, I think uh, we have, uh, because we are uh, going to maximize or minimize our time, uh, we are about uh, now to uh, start um, our opening prayer, Sister Herminia Garayan. Hello, Sister. Happy Sabbath, Leah. About. Okay, thank you for hearing your voice. Opening remarks, Sister Naomi Marciano. Hello, Sister. Are you in the church or are you online both? Hopefully. Hello. Mamaya, maya. Um, sasagot yan. And then, and then song of praise uh, will be heard from Sister Charmaine in Yves. Then we have uh, the testimonies uh, we can uh, assign uh, later on to one or two. It depends our time. Then our lesson study presentation will be heard from Brother Renato Romero. How are you there, brother? Happy Sabbath. Then we have the closing song. Uh, to be announced later on by our chorister. Closing prayer by our Sabbath school uh, teacher, Brother Renato Romero. We hope so that throughout the day, this whole day Sabbath, uh, we have uh, this uh, energy uh, coming from the Lord and wisdom that uh, uh, He may bestow upon to each and every one of us that our uh, program, uh, Sabbath School Divine, even AY program today will be a successful one. And uh, we'll be happy together. And I asked before uh, a proper start to uh, humbly request uh, those brethren to open your camera and then uh, kawai kawai, then uh, say happy Sabbath, everyone. Can we do that? Brethren, uh, please do open your camera and uh, say happy Sabbath, everyone. Happy Sabbath, happy everyone. Sabbath. Sabbath. Happy Sabbath, everyone. Nice to see and hear your voice, brethren. Sabbath. Thank you. Okay, uh, without much further ado, as I said, let's give the time to our chorister. Yes, brethren, happy Sabbath. So for our inspiration, um, let us sing, Will There Be Any Stars? I, I mean, I am thinking today of that beautiful land. Hold on. Yeah. 
Brethren, for our opening song, let us all stand and sing Leaning on the Everlasting Arm. Oh, so now you're leaning on the air. 
Let's pray with Sister Hermie. Let's pray, brethren. Heavenly Father, our provider, our maker, and our protector. Through your goodness, we are alive and healthy enough to gather and worship you today. Thank you for the gift of life. You are worthy of all our praises. We are here to pray to God that you will always light our way with your presence. Your children have gathered to worship in your presence today and sing your praises. Come into our midst, God, and have fellowship with us. Make your blessings abundant and grace as with your presence from the start of this worship to the end. Thank you for answering our prayers. In the loving name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you for the very nice uh, prayer. And of course, the opening uh, song. And now, let's give the time to Sister Nimes. Sister Nimes, it's your turn right now. For welcome remarks. Happy Sabbath day, my dear Happy brothers Sabbath. and sisters. Happy Sabbath, sister. Sabbath. Happy, Sabbath, Happy, Sabbath. Happy Sabbath. Happy Sabbath. Happy Sabbath, everyone. The son, Visayas Mindanao brethren. I would like to ask you this question. Are you listening? Are you in tune? And amen, we are. Do you know that we are yeah. very rich. Do you know that we are very rich and blessed above many? Though we don't work and earn a living on Sabbath? Yes. Amen. Amen. If we can attend church like today, then we are more blessed than billions of people in the world. So brethren, Welcome to church today. I hope you will come again and again. For this is where we can find the Lord. And make Jesus Christ our friend. Now to open our Sabbath school, I would like to bring you into the theme. What is the theme, brethren? When the storm of persecution breaks upon us. The true sheep will hear the shepherd's what, brethren? Voice. The shepherd's voice. The true shepherd's voice. One of the Bible's most informative images of Jesus is the good shepherd. And part of that image involves his leadership or lordship of the flock. Jesus expresses that, that role by saying, my sheep hear my voice. Only the Lord's true sheep follow and obey him because they know and recognize his voice. Jesus said, my sheep listen to my voice. I, I know them and they follow me. Okay, but in John 10, 1 to 30, as Jesus faces growing opposition from his enemies, he draws his followers ever closer by introducing them to the kind and caring leader he embodies. 
the good shepherd. Jesus wants his disciples to recognize, to recognize that he is not like the abusive religious leaders who were in constant conflict with him and his ministry. He shows them that they must follow him as sheep follow the shepherd. Look at this uh, statement, brethren. Jesus was trying to let the disciple know that he is a different kind of leader because other leaders were in constant conflict with him and his ministry. That is also what is happening uh, to us, brethren. So it's it happened to Jesus. So we just need to go forward. And there is a beautiful inspiration here, brethren. And this slide, I would like, I would request everyone to read with me because this is so comforting, so inspirational, brethren, from the desire of ages is about our shepherd. Ready? It's from the desire of ages, 52 or page 479. Ready? We read it slowly so we can internalize the sweetness of this promise. Ready, go. As an, an earthly, earthly shepherd, shepherd knows his sheep, sheep. So, does so does the divine, divine shepherd, shepherd know his, know his flock, flock that are scattered, scattered throughout, throughout the, world. the world. Jesus knows, Jesus knows us, us individually, individually and is touched with the feeling of our, our infirmities. infirmities. He knows us, he knows all, us by all by name. By name. He knows, he knows the very, the very house, house in which, in which we live. The name of name his occupant. <laughs> Look at that. Every soul. So, ingat na. Dala ka nung kwan, Korean kwan, gusto mo? Brother Sam, hello. Every soul is as fully known to Sorry. Jesus. That's okay. Every soul is as fully known, fully known to, to Jesus. Jesus. As if, As if he, he were, were the, only the only one for whom the Savior, Savior died. died. He cares for each one as if, if there, there were not another, another on the face of the earth. I think uh, I heard the brother Sam's voice. You see, I did not see him, but I recognize brother, brother Sam's voice. <laughs> that is a beautiful experience, brethren. This is in line with what we read. Okay, parang nangilabot pa ako kasi biglang nag, nag ang boses ni Brother Sam. That is an example, a living example. That if we know the true shepherd's voice, we can recognize, we will know him. At kilalang kilala ko boses ni Brother Sam. Amen. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for that example, brethren. Okay. But there is something great for us to be done, brethren. What is that? There is something great for us to be done, brethren, so that many, listen, so that many people will know and recognize the voice of the true shepherd. What is it? Okay, what is that, brethren? Because according to the context of our team today, many backsliders in the future will return, you know? When the storm, this is where Ellen G. White said, when she said this theme, when the storm of persecution really breaks upon us, the true sheep will hear the true shepherd's voice. So what we need here, a self-denying effort will be put forth to save the lost. And many who have strayed from the fold will come back to follow the great shepherd. All right. And then the next part is many were influenced by the press. Press means publication. During that time, brethren, more than 1,000 will soon will be converted in one day. And as we see, according to inspiration, most of whom will trace 
their first convictions to the reading of our publications. All right, so they were influenced first by reading the publication. So in Micah 6, 9, it says, The Lord's voice crieth unto the city, and the man of wisdom shall see thy name. Hear ye yeah. the rod, and who appointed it? You know, hanggang ngayon na feel ko po, pag binabasa ko ito, Micah 6, 9, Hear ye the rod, nangingilabot po ako. Kasi yun yung first reaction ko nang nabasa ko ito. Itong Micah 6, 9, nag-goosebam ako, nagtaas ang balahibo ko. Hear ye the rod, and who hath appointed it. Truly, when one is reading, you know, with sincere heart, to follow with humble heart, to follow the Lord, the Holy Spirit will be speaking to us, brethren. Micah 6, 9, Hear ye the rod, and who hath appointed it. So in the in the publishing ministry it says distribute publications like what brethren leaves like the leaves of autumn distribute <laughs> publications like the leaves of autumn wow gaano karami yan dito sa bahay ko mayroong malaking puno ng kahoy Anong, ako yung walis ng walis dahil sobrang daming bumabagsak na, na, na leaves. And to make it plain, brethren, distribute the what? R-O-D. Distribute the, the rod like the leaves of autumn. Okay, this is the reason why. Look, I make a title for this slide. Publishing Ministry in a Hurry. That's why we are been establishing and organizing, you know, a very systematic way of diffusing the light to the world. We are establishing and organizing the associations, different functions so that everyone will work accordingly. And this is... A publishing ministry in a hurry. Let's contact our publishing director, Brother Roger. Please open your camera. Brother Roger is the publishing director. Publishing yeah. ministry in a hurry. No time to waste. A great work is to be done to save souls. Distribute the rod like the leaves of autumn. Brethren, may this reminder be placed in our hearts and minds and set into action. This is my prayer in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Okay, brethren, I'm going to church now. So I'll see you next time. I have to pick up my neighbor, an Adventist neighbor. Bye-bye. I love you okay. all. Bye-bye, Sister Noah. Bye-bye. God bye -bye. bless. God bless. God bless. bless Paul. Bye -bye. And the school. <laughs> can you see him? Yes, we can. Okay. Wala akong naririnig dito, Brother Glenn. I don't know sa iba. Wala pong sound. Wala ding sound. Wala ang sound dito. The same is true with me here. Wala ang sound. Wala pa rin. Wala pa rin. Okay, okay, Wala pa rin sound. Make sure sound na po ka.
Okay na po ba? Wala pa, po. Wala pa rin sound. Sandali lang po ah. Okay, I will play it on that. Sorry. Sean, can you play there? I cannot play. Uh, there's a problem with the audio here. <coughs> can you hear me now? Can you hear me, Paul? Yes. Okay, I will try again. Marinig po ba? Wala pa rin sound. Wala po. Live na lang si Charm. <laughs> nak, mag-live ka na lang, Nak. Kahit mag-arcapella, walang problema. Hindi na naman ang boses. I-play ko na lang po dito. Ah, sige po. Paan, pwede, pwede. paano na lang po. Pohost na lang si Charm. Thank you po. Wait. Nasa groups. Yes, thank you.
Amen. Very nice. Amen. Uh, so, now is the time for uh, testimony. By the way, brethren, um, Kananga brethren is uh, hosting this uh, Sabbath. Then, uh, mangyari lang po. Uh, we need uh, at least two. Uh, sino ba yung ma-recommend ng mga Kananga brethren? Gagaling po sa inyo yung mag-testimony. Sister Kat, mayroon ba dyang nakahanda? Brother Raj, I will start the testimony this morning since uh, it is the Visayan who is hosting our program this Sabbath. Wow. Yes, Sorry. brethren, uh, we are very blessed and very privileged for all the blessings that God has bestowed, not only to us, but to every believer of the present truth. For the past few months, challenges have been continuously uh, shaping us, I would say not shaking, but shaping us into a preparation to a holy righteous life, wherein uh, we will be candidate of the 144,000 as we continue and we are on our journey to the kingdom. Our experience, brethren, has been so blessed. Uh, for the past uh, few months with my whole family. And I am also very happy because our family is intact for this month. My son, Jan Israel, has come home here with yeah. us from the bow. And uh, so we are very happy and full of joy. And also happy, uh, you know, to see every faces of, the, my, of my beloved brethren. You know, I'm very inspired, especially if you're on your camera, you know. So I know. Each and every one of us has experience from the blessings, the flow of blessings from our, our center and from our headquarter, Mount Carmel, down to every believer of the present truth and align with the true organization. And I know Brother Roger has feel that blessing Amen, Brother Raj. Amen. I Glory know, to God. You know, brethren, our theme, our theme uh, this morning is very, very inspiring. Uh, you know, uh, I pray and praise God for using his servant to give us very nice theme every month. Itong si Brother Glenn, para talagang talent niya ito, binibigay ng Panginoon. When the storm breaks, True sheep will hear the true shepherd. Alam nyo mga kapatid, even at this very point of time, ang experience po namin ni Brother June. Grabe yung mga ano natin, sacrifices and mga shapings. Noon tinatawag natin na pagsubok. But you know, brethren, testimony ko this morning, very live. I don't feel it already. Ang mga trials noon, trials ngayon. They are shapings and victories now because we have overcome them. But in our experience, we have to really walk with God each day because we cannot smile and say, I am victorious today. I am no longer susceptible of the attack of the enemy. So we, all of us, must uh, uh, hold our hands together fall in line and does not break our line so that the enemy cannot come in. You know, brethren? So uh, we are very blessed and thank um, and thanking God for all the blessings and the sustenance he has given us. And may the Lord bless us, each and every one of us, and extend the blessings from our home, from our headquarter, from our Kananga Philippine Division, down to every families throughout the Philippines. God bless, brethren, and happy, happy Sabbath. Amen. A very nice. Amen. Uh, yes. Amen. Can give us more strength spiritually hearing uh, the experiences, testimonies from our inspired brethren. Anyone? We need the... Uh, Hello. 
Yeah, brother Amor. Experience. Ah, uh, good morning, happy Sabbath. Good morning and happy Sabbath sa lahat ng mga kapatid. Amen. Ah, uh, sa buong Pilipinas at buong Happy Sabbath, Brad. Okay. Ah, uh, sa ngayon kahit na mga kapatid nag-iisa lang ako dito sa Bicol, eh gumagawa ako ng mga missionary work. Ah, uh, hindi ko rin pinababayaan yung mga bata. Minsan-minsan pag may may budget ako, eh napapakain ko sila. Pag wala, wala. O, okay naman, palag naman sila. O so, palugaw ko. Ngayon, uh, na doon sa matatanda, mayroon din, doon mga anin hanggang pito. Minsan na umabot naman ng labing dalwa. Pero hindi permanente. Uh, ngayon, ang kahapon ng missionary work, kahapon yung, nag-donate ako ng labing dalawang uh, plants na puno sa simbahan na, na aming lugar. Uh, Tuwan-tuwa naman yung caretaker doon, si Sister Ibalya. Nakarating na po sa Antipolo yan. Uh, dahil pareha na silang matanda, sabi ko, uh, isang araw, babalik ako dyan para linisan ko yung simbahan at iayos ko yung mga halaman kung saan da- nararapat. Ang uh, isa pa, uh, na kilala ko nung, nung katiwala sa isang uh, kwan, samahan na puro matatanda ang mga membro. Uh, sila ay mga nakakatanggap ng tulong doon sa akin, isang tao na nanghihingi rin ng tulong sa ibang bansa. Eh ngayon, sabi sa akin, kung pwede rin ako magsalita, sabi ko, okay, pwede. Mga trentang matatanda po itong mga kapatid. Uh, sana sa Miracles ng alas 9, uh, yun ang schedule na binigay sa akin. At sana ay tuloy-tuloy na sila makaalam ng sa uns- umpisa, yung bisik muna, yung 28 fundamental belief ng 70 Adventist. At uh, masisingitan na po natin yan kung ng ating red message. Kaya yan lang po mga kapatid. Uh, sana kahit tayo nag-iisa, tuloy ang laban. Uh, ipag, pangaral natin ang ibang hindi ng ating Panginoon. Yan lang po at maraming salamat. Amen po. Brother Amor, thank you so much for uh, the testimony. And of course, Sister Ekati, no? We remember the word not as shaking but uh, shipping. And kay brother Amor po reaching out uh, the the brethren outside the fold, uh, giving some uh, means of reaching out. Thank you so much. Baka uh, meron pa isa, no? Brother Roger. Ah, yeah, thank you so much. Yeah, uh, I can just uh, have a short uh, testimony. You know, last Sabbath uh, evening, we still have our series of health lectures in uh, Nepal. And they are very blessed because uh, I presented the medical missionary work as a continuation of uh, Ezekiel 47. Because I integrated the Ezekiel 47 and then this uh, sanctuary doctrine because of the fall of men, there's a need of a sanctuary doctrine. So. I uh, I open up the the fountain that will be open to the house of David, and so uh, in continuation with that, as preparation for that event, uh, I presented the medical missionary principles where uh, we need to be equipped with the uh, medical missionary uh, principles and teachings uh, that uh, we will be ready to swell into a loud cry because before the loud cry. His people will be prepared for that mis- uh, medical missionary work that is to be uh, uh, the right arm of the gospel. That's why uh, we have also a plan for the training for our young people uh, to have this uh, me- medical missionary uh, work uh, workshop trainings. Uh, and uh, we happen also. I happen also to talk with and to share with the pastor in California yesterday. 
Uh, we have a Bible study with our brother Rob and sister Noemi who have attended our, our Bible study yesterday. Uh, it will be uh, continuous because uh, uh, we have a schedule. Uh, next week will be uh, Friday as well, the same, the same time. So if you have uh, an opportunity to, uh, to join with us, then you can join. I is a pastor in California, a Filipino, Filipino pastor, and he's willing to study more deeper on the basic of uh, our uh, Rad message. Actually, Brother Rob introduces already the, the Rad message before, before the basic uh, messages, you know, and uh, uh, he's still willing to continue on uh, studying this basic uh, uh, studies in the present truth. So let's also pray for that. And uh, also, uh, we have this uh, uh, prayer uh, that we need to ask the Lord for blessing uh, because uh, these are the things that we are doing. Our online, our uh, website as well. There are, there are people there who have commented in our website and they are very blessed with our online, with our website brothers and sisters so you can also sneak in and uh, comment there and uh, you can visit our website so that uh, uh, there are followers that will continue on moving the uh, online uh, platform that we have because this is one of the technology that we can use to spread the auto I like autumn it, it means that a message not only from the printed materials, but now we are open for digital online uh, platform. That's all, uh, Brother Roger, for the testimony. Thank you so much. Amen to God, Brother Glenn. We know you are happy doing your ministry, and we are also happy behind you. And uh, we believe that not only Nepal, because we are doing online, and it is uh, even throughout the world, and even uh, this time, uh, we have an invitation, but uh, Sister Kiki asked me as my as a guest uh, presider in this uh, Kananga, Kananga hosting the Sabbath. Uh, we also have an experience that our brethren here locally, especially our brethren in uh, country living, invite, inviting us if possible every Sabbath. So, um, uh, I, I believe all of us uh, is doing for God's uh, uh, work and we hope so uh, we'll be always uh, in fire spiritually in doing God's uh, host. And uh, I think uh, some of the brethren uh, need also to give testimony about our time and just reserve that this afternoon. I believe uh, surely we have still time for a catering testimony. Uh, before Brother Renato to present our Sabbath school lesson, allow me to uh, have this um, intermission number first through Sister Juji and Sister Shirley, uh, a cappella only. Happy Sabbath. Yes, good morning, brethren. Good morning and happy Sabbath. Good morning, Abisabel. Uh, the title of the song is Be Mine, found in Ezekiel 16. When you were born, you were all alone. Nobody washed you or carried you home. Nobody wrapped you in swaddling clothes. To the beast of the field you were thrown. I saw you as I was passing by, tiny and helpless and ready to die. I saw you struggling in your own blood, and I couldn't just turn away. 
So I stopped there and I called you and walked to your side. And I took you and I fed you that you might not die. And I kept you and I cared for you that someday you might be mine. Be mine. I made you thrive like a plant in the field, the wounds of your birth were finally healed. I watched you bloom into maturity. You looked like a beautiful queen. You grew very beautiful under my care. But still I could see you were naked and bare. Again I passed by you and then it was clear that your time was a time of love. So I stopped there and I called you and walked to your side. And I spread my wing around you, my beautiful bride. And I made with you a covenant. And from that day you were mine. You were mine. I was to with water. I clothed you with silk, I fed you with food rare and fine. You succeeded to royalty, and your beauty was such that all nations could see you were mine. Your heart was exalted and lifted on high. You trusted your beauty, forgot you were mine. You defiled yourself with whomever you chose. Your covenant with me you broke. Forgetting the blood and the pain of your birth. Forgetting the one who gave you your worth. You turn to your idols of silver and gold. Oh, I watch you turn away. So I'm standing and I'm weeping. With heartbroken cries, and I'm calling and I'm pleading, oh, why would you die? And I'm knocking and I'm still hoping that someday you might be mine. I will save you, I will heal you, and walk by your side. I will clothe you in a garment of brilliant white. I will come and take you home with me finally when you were mine. Be mine. Amen. 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 Glory to God. Amen. Very nice song for the Lord. Brother Rin. Hello. Yes, brother. Yes, brother Roger. Um, okay. Happy Sabbath. Allow me to share my screen. So, brother Rin, good morning. Happy Sabbath. So, Good morning, brother. Happy Sabbath. Happy Sabbath. This is the first. Happy Sabbath, bro. Happy Sabbath, Happy Sabbath, sister. Jay Um, today is uh, I don't know, uh, July two, the first Sabbath of the month. So glory to God for this uh, another opportunity to come together to worship our Lord. This special Sabbath, uh, because Sabbath, brethren, is that is always a special day for all of us. To, to meditate, to come together, and especially during these times that uh, um, we are um, living in, in very difficult situations, 
both uh, spiritually and uh, so so that's it, brethren. Um, this morning I invited uh, our brother to join here, but uh, uh, he said that uh, he has also a, a, a meeting, and he, because he he is also aware that uh, some of the brethren are are here, but in spite of that, uh, let's let's just continue um, um, worshiping the Lord. You know, and the, we come now in in our part of our program, which is just the Sabbath school uh, lesson. The title of our subject is the shepherd's crucible before we'll dive in brethren um i invite everyone to, to seek the lord in prayer let's kneel down our father which art in heaven lord we thank you and uh, we praise you lord for this another opportunity to come to you with thy people over this platform um we ask for the help the holy spirit to be with us to guide us into all truth as we're going to study the deep things of your word in, in, in the Bible in the spirit of prophecy. Thank you, Lord, for forgiving all our sins. And we ask all these things in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Um, <clears throat> uh, what, what does it mean? Crucibles, the shepherd's crucible. Um, actually, brethren, I'm not that familiar with this word, but maybe some of the bread could uh, can share their, their their thoughts about this one. Um, when I check uh, the the specific word about crucible, it is like a um, yung tunawan. Then we're in uh, um, yung holder holder of the intense fire. Holder of the intense fire. Yes. Oh, that, that that that's one. Na yung mga ceramic or any metal or gold. Uh, yung mga mga substance na yan, uh, uh, will be melted there and it's subjected to very high temperature. Yeah, kaya there's fire na talagang ma, ma mold, ma, ma melt to mold um, any metal or any ceramic or yeah, para, para yung dross and the uh, lilitao talaga ang pure gold. So, so that's it. And as you can see in the picture, brethren, you can see there um, the effort and the uh, how my reflection with this how did you you know to be a shepherd you can see here in the picture you know um the, the hands holding the the head of the of the sheep so that's really the duty of the shepherd to to take care and there in this second picture um the sheep grazing the uh, the pastures no um it's it's the sheep the shepherds will lead the sheep there to, for them to be fed and there's a picture here the sheep uh, being led to uh, the waters the shepherd carrying the sheep and this one um the, the shepherd carrying uh in his shoulder the sheep and putting oil in the head of the sheep feeding the sheep and leading the sheep to, to the pasture, carrying the sheep and tending the sheep, not just, you know, an hour or a minute or, but the entire day, it's 24 seven, brethren. Um, oh, why, why is it that? Why is that, that uh, that's really done? Because that's how our sheep, uh, that's how the duty, that, that's the duty of the shepherd, you know, in, in tendering, in taking care of the sheep. And for us, for, for the sheep to have to be in good health and that uh, the sheep could produce milk, milk for, 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 the, for the people and um, the far, you know, the, para yung mga balahibo na magiging damit. So, so, so that's it. The shepherd's crossable. And as I see the, the, the focus of this study, brethren, it, it's in... Uh, Psalms 23, a very familiar verse, you know, with a very familiar chapter. And I would I'd like to uh, invite you to read. Uh, let's read together this one. Um, basahin natin to lahat mga kapatid. Psalms 23. Uh, together. Okay, start. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. 
He led me, me outside the stream where he seems He restored my soul. He led me in the path of righteousness for his name. Ye though I walk in the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff they comfort me. They comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointest my head over my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Wow. What a... What a promise, brethren. Uh, ano kaya ang reflection natin ito? Um, for me, brethren, uh, it it just shows you know na, that the Lord is really the the one that who is the author and finisher of our faith. Imagine that, brethren. No, um, He is the one who made it us to lie down in green pastures. He leaded us beside the still waters. But, um, kung kung titingnan mo yung pronoun there, brethren, he, he, he. It's not I, I, I. Sa kanya talaga lahat, mga kapatid. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. And the verse 1 tells us that the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Brethren, when God, when Jesus is our shepherd, uh, we won't, ano, um, we need, the, we have everything, we have enough. Th th that's the point. Hindi tayo makulangan at hindi din tayo, because we have enough. Um, alam naman natin sa buhay natin in our lives um, we um, there are ups and downs but uh, as you know as as uh, as God's people what is the secret there the secret is just be satisfied and contented to 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 what God has um, give it to you um, during during siguro in a, in deprivation and poverty yeah. But still, God is there, and during uh, abundance, we should we should uh, not forget, brethren, that we have our Lord. He is our shepherd, and the Lord will guide us through thick and thin. The Lord is there. So, ang maganda, maganda talaga nga uh, for me personally, brethren. I I, I read this one uh, and I read this one na uh, um, kagabi. Wow. Um, sa lahat, He restored my soul. He leadeth me into the path of righteousness. Ye walk, ye, ye, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear though evil, for thou art with me. It's, it's always you know, giving praise. It's always giving credit to the Lord. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my... Siya talaga, mga kapatid. And, 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 and the verse 6 here, it's very, um, for me, Sabi ko, wow, uh, what a promise. Surely, the goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and I will dwell in the house. Hanggat, you know, brethren, the, the, this statement, um, you know, the word forever, even eternity, ang, ang plano ng Panginoon, ang paggawa niya sa atin. So, um, I cannot uh, maybe give you a, a more, uh, but Try to read this one and ask the Lord. You can really reflect the goodness, the goodness of the Lord. Our study will focus on this chapter. Um, here in the next slide, you know, and, and it um, explain it uh, some of the, the first uh, um, the, the, the entire chapter. Psalm 3 is undoubtedly the most known and memorized psalm. It begins with the following sin. So may mga sin na pinapakita sa, sa, sa chapter na yan. A flock of sheep gazing in green pastures by still waters. Then a journey towards a glorious destination begins. The shepherd leads us in the path of righteousness. We may walk fearlessly in the valley safe from our enemies. So yun po ang mga, um, mga sin na pinapakita. There is a, a shepherd leading us. Uh, he leads us in the path of righteousness, and and he's with he, he is with us. The Lord is with us. The shepherd is with us. That's why, fearlessly, um, tayo ay 
uh, walking no? uh, towards ano, walking in the valley, fearlessly in the valley, safe from the enemies and our direction. We are, uh, we are gearing towards glorious destinations, dwelling in the house of the Lord forever. So, isa-isahin po natin itong na mga punto mga kapatid. And uh, we'll try to to apply this one uh, to our present uh, situation. Um, we're in, we as God's people now is, uh, are, you know, walking and walking, waiting and uh, watching for the soon appearing of Christ, the coming of the kingdom of God. And, uh, what are the the attitude that we should bear and the and for and the this truth that we should have for us to you know understand God's dealings to each and every one of us as his sheep. The shepherds, the shepherd leads me. So it, that is in verse one and two. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in the green pastures, he leadeth me beside the still waters. It's clear. Who oh, the shepherds in the Bible? So it's Jesus. I am the good shepherd. He he's called the great shepherd of the sheep in Hebrews 13, verse 20. Great shepherd of the sheep. Therefore, sino ang sheep? Tayo po ang sheep. We are the sheep. We are defenseless in the world, in the world that's dominated by evil. What does the shepherd do for us? So ito po ang mga ginagawa, mga kapatid, ng shepherd was. In, in first, uh, first, he protects us and tenderly takes care of us when we're weak. It's in Isaiah 40, verse 11. So, and I'd like uh, somebody from uh, the participant to uh, read Isaiah 40, verse 11. It's in here. Um, can I ask Sister Jurkor, please read in the... In the in the presentation, Isaiah 40, verse 11. Okay, bro. Thank you. Isaiah 40, verse 11. He shall feed his flock like a shepherd. He shall gather the lambs with his arm and carry them in his bosom and shall gently lead those that are with, that are with young. Wow. Thank you, Sister Joy. So, yan po, mga kapatid. He shall feed his flock like a shepherd. Uh, the Lord really protects us and tenderly takes care of us when we're weak. So, kung titingnan yung mga kapatid, no? he, he will carry them in his bosom. He shall uh, gently uh, lead those that are with young. So, ganun ka, ganun ka, maalalahanin, ganun yung pag take care ng, ng uh, shepherd natin to us. Next is Ezekiel 34, uh, verse 12. He knows us and he rescues us in dark days. Um, it's in here. I'd like uh, Sister Gigi May, please read Ezekiel 34, 12. It's in the, it's in the presentation. Okay. Is Ezekiel 34, verse 12. As a shepherd seeketh out his flock in the day that he is among his sheep that are scattered, so will I seek out my sheep and will deliver them out of all places where they have been scattered in the cloudy and dark day. So, wow. Thank you, sister. So, as shepherd seeketh out his flock in the day that he is among his, that he is among his sheep that are scattered. So... So I will seek out my sheep. What, what a promise. Because the Lord knows us and this is his promise. He will really uh, find us and rescue us on dark days and will deliver. Deliver them out of all places where they have been scattered in the cloudy and dark day. So sino nga yung naghanap? Tayo ba ang naghanap sa Panginoon? It is the Lord. Siya po ang uh, and like seek it out. Yeah, we're here, brethren, as, as, as present truth believers, you know. It is God. It is not an accident. It, it is God's purpose that we're here. And siya ang nag-ipon sa atin. Hindi tayo ang pumunta sa kanya. 
See, so, so that's because that's his promise and that's his work as a good shepherd. So the next one is in Ezekiel 34, 37, 24. He gives us directions to lead uh, correctly. I'd like uh, um, Brother Roger, please read Ezekiel 37, 24. Okay. It's in the it's in the presentation. And David, my servant, shall be king over them, and they shall and they all shall have one shepherd. They shall also walk in my judgment and observe my statutes and do them. Wow, thank you, Brother Roger. So that's it, brethren. Um, this is a prophecy, no? This is a prophecy about uh, about uh, the, and the David in the last days, that uh, magiging servant siya. Uh, I mean, David, the servant of God, mga magiging king over us, and all of us, ang manyari, uh, shall have one shepherd, they shall also walk in my judgment and observe my statutes and do them. So, ibig sabihin, mga kapatid, that God really gives us directions to live correctly. Na hindi po tayo niya pababayaan. Judgments, walk in, the, in God's judgment and observe the statutes of God and, and do them. Na kahit na yung paggawa ay kailangan uh, ma-observe ma at masunod. So, so, so that's it. That's uh, really the, the work of the shepherd. Yun po ang, even in this, this, this prophecy, this is a prophetic, uh, this is a prophecy in the last days that uh, David will be, that the, the tabernacle of David will be restored and uh, the antitypical David uh, shall reign, uh, become king over us. But still, you know, God is leading, God is allowing us to walk in his, in his judgment and observe the statute and do them. So imagine even in the kingdom, brethren, uh, those uh, people that uh, be gathered there, um, the the following, you know, the teaching and the observing of God's statutes continues. So next is John 10, 11. Um, it's in here. I'd like uh, Brother Daniel, little Daniel. Um, please read John 10, uh, 11. There's, are you there? Okay. John chapter 10, verse 11. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd giveth his life for the sheep. Wow, thank you. So that is uh, something, you know, you know, brethren, showing sacrifices. I am the good shepherd. Good shepherd, give it his life for the sheep. So, so, gan ganon mga kapatid, uh, bilang na, na, and, and, para din sa atin, as, as God's people, as, as God's disciple and servants, ganon din ang panawagan man din sa atin, to give our life to a friend. So, yeah, just because Jesus being the good shepherd, he give it his life for us. Um, that's John 10, 11. In John 10, 16, he brings us together. Um, who can volunteer there? John 10, 11. John 10, 16. Can I read, Brother Renato? Okay. So okay it says here, John chapter 10, verse 16. And the other sheep I have, which are not of this fold, them also I must bring and they shall hear my voice and there shall be one fold and one shepherd. Wow, thank you. Um, he brings us together. That's really the, the, the purpose of God you know, for his people. In, uh, in one of the presentations that uh, we have heard no, the last Sabbath in Psalms 133 verse 1, uh, yun talaga. Nakita sa Panginoon how, how pleasant for, for the brethren to come together. And sabi niya dito, though um, they're scattered, 
he has also sheep from the other fold, but uh, his promise is, them also I must bring, and they shall hear my voice, and there shall be one fold and one shepherd. And uh, as we know, brethren, um, right now uh, in our the, the in our time, God is calling us, uh, and He's appointed appoint, no the the an instrument, the rod, the 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 voice of the rod, and that is God's instrument for us to come together to be in one fold. And serving God, you know, with our one shepherd. So, to continue, brethren, um, that's the topic about the shepherd leads me. In the path of righteousness, he's here. He restores my soul. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. The flock is in their way. The shepherd leads us in the path of righteousness in the good way. Which is, which is the good way. The one that leads to the right destination, the shepherd's home, the new Jerusalem. The one that leads us to live according to shepherd's desire. The one that transforms us in righteous, as righteous people, into a righteous people. We can be sure that God will lead us to our glorious destination, no matter how easy or hard the way is. That's, that's the pro his promise. See here that we can be sure, talagang masiguro natin, that God will lead us to our glorious destinations in the paths of righteousness. But how, during in our time today, how God will lead us, what instrument that is using? In answer, book 3, page 23, paragraph 3 says, Unmistakably, therefore, the clear light shedding forth from type, from testimonies of the prophets, and from history, identify the message of the Rad as the only one ordained to lead the latter day church, freed from sin and sinners, into the land of promise, when the times of Gentiles fulfilled. Luke 21, verse 24. The message of the Rad, brethren. It is the one, the, the, the only one ordained. To lead us to lead the latter day church. Who, who is, who, what is the latter day church right now? It's the Seventh day Adventist church, the, the last uh, church in the Christian dispensation, the last, the, the latter day church, the seventh church. At walang ibang mag, magli lead. Um, freed from sin and sinners. So it's not just sin, brother, you know, but also the sinners into the land of promise. It's the message of the right. Answer, book three, page 62, paragraph one. And now louder and louder sounds the voice of Carmel through the series of the shepherd's rod publications. The Lord's voice unto the city and says the divine author, the man of wisdom shall see thy name, hear ye the rod who hath acquainted it. So, the man of wisdom shall say thy name. We need to hear the rod who had acquainted all these prophecies, brethren. And through what? Through the series of the shepherd's rod publications. Through the shepherd's rod publications. No other, brethren. That is the Lord's voice unto the city. The Lord's voice unto the city. It's the voice of Carmel through the series of Shepherd's Rod publications. The voice from Carmel and the instrument being used is the Shepherd's Rod publication. Seven track 71, page 71, paragraph one. We know that the Lord is speaking to his people at this very time through the publications of the Shepherd's Rod. So, um, some some of our brethren are uh, anxious to uh, because they want to, to be to have a living, you know, a man, a, pers a person that would uh, speak to them. But uh, they forgot that uh, there's an instrument that God uses right now, and it's Him who is is talking to us. It's it's the Lord, but through the publications of the shepherds, that He speaks. To his people through this um, through this publication, that the message they contain is that which will cause a shaking among God's people. So that's really true. 
try to present this one. Really cause shaking among God's people. And it's just started at the time of uh, our those hogan, uh, the, the brethren during the um, right at the start of the selling message that those who accept this counsel of the true witness will receive the seal of God and be numbered among the 144,000 testimonies, volume 3, page 266, that those who reject it will fall in the slaughter of physical night. A 70 Adventist brethren, as God's people today, there are uh, there were only two, two destinations. To receive the seal of God and be numbered among the 144,000 or if you're going to reject that one, you're going to reject the message, the rod, the selling message, assure, uh, you know, will fall in the slaughter of Ezekiel 9. So, so that's it. That's, that is the, that is the, the message that uh, uh, contained in the rod that will cause shaking among God's people. It's not the, you know, it's not the accepting of this strange doctrine that uh, these additions and sub subtractions and the uh, following implications in the writings of the rat. No, that is not. That is not a shaking. Those are those are winds of doctrines. Those are in 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 other passages of the rat. Um, they called it as uh, the fairy darts of the enemy. Fairless in the valley. Bakit magiging fairless in the valley? In verse 4, Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for ye, you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Brethren, um, reading the rod, reading the uh, God's the spirit of prophecy and the rod, you know, will give us comfort. I remember during the time when uh, I first uh, encountered this message, um, I was also bombarded with the challenges and trials, but there's no other way to to give us to give us to give me that give me comfort is but but just to continue to read, continue to read the rod. It will give us comfort. How hard it is to trust God when we don't see His hand. You know that because that is human uh, point of view. That is, hindi mo makita how could you how you trust Him. We may think God has abandoned us when we are surrounded darkness, pain, suffering, and fear. God constantly repeated, do not be afraid. In his word, in Genesis 15, 1, uh, Jesus 21, verse 17, 2 Kings 19, 6. So many reminders to saying, do not be afraid. He promised he will always be with us, even if we cannot see him. That, that, that's God's promise. We can find comfort and guidance in his rod and stuff. Diyan natin makukuha ang, ang guidance, ang comfort, mga kapatid, in his rod and stuff. And what are these rod and stuff right now? It is the message of the rod, the Shepherd's Rod series publication. So reading this uh, timely message, there's no other timely message, brethren, right now. It is the rod. It's just like in the type that for uh, God's people, for the Israelites to to enter into the promised land, there's a rod that needed them. Page 62, uh, actually, I, uh, I have already read this one, but uh, I just uh, uh, repost this, that through the series of the Shepherd's Rod publications, that's the Lord's voice. And uh, through it, brethren, we can find comfort assurance we can find comfort and guidance so um there's no other way right now brethren but just to study the word the, the, the lord's word reading his publications the shepherd's Rod, because the selling message on the requirements and, and the things that um that tells about history and prophecy ay makikita natin dyan. safe from my enemies you prepare a table before me in the presence of my of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup runneth over. That's in verse 5 of Psalms 23. Something is unexpected is introduced in verse 5. The presence of my enemies. Do believers have enemies? Mayroon ba tayong mga kaaway? 
Sure, both visible and visible ones, both known and unknown. Philippians 3.18 and Ephesians 6 verse 12. However, if we focus on what God is doing for us, preparing the table, anointing us with oil, making our cup run over, the presence of our enemies will be overshadowed. Ang presensya ng ating mga mga kaaway ay hindi yan makikita mga kapatid. If we will if we focus only in in the preparing, you know, uh, God's um, goodness to us, he prepares us table, anoint us with oil and making our cup runneth over. Talagang uh, ganun po mga kapatid. Uh, what's what do you, what's your what's our reflection here in, in this point brethren? Anointing us with oil. Si David ay anoint sa oil. No, but uh, yeah, before David even knows sa kung ano yung ano yung mangyari is already anointed by God in an, na anoint ako siya and look at what happened to David David became a king and right now brother ang, ang sitwasyon natin God give us this special message God anoint us with oil. He gave us this spirit that uh, would, would guide us and uh, acquaint us ourselves to, to, to the Lord's will. And what's, what's his plan for us to become his Levites and kings? So, you know, brethren, uh, to be part of, the, of that glorious, of that um, uh, marvelous uh, event the 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 crowning up the standing with the lord in mount zion and to be part of that uh, first fruits the 144000 it's it's more than a king brethren it's more than that uh, honor to be with him bodily with christ in mount zion making our cup run over talagang uh, Hindi tayo makukulang. Hindi tayo makukulangan, brethren. Kahit na iba-iba ang sitwasyon natin ngayon, you know, um, we don't have maybe uh, all this uh, uh, abundance or privileges, the, the luxury that uh, in, in the world, but spiritually, brethren, we have lots of promises. We have we have this God's words and makes our cup, that makes our cup run it over. No enemy or vis- either visible or invisible can take away what the shiver has given us as long as we're with him. Ayun lang po. There's a condition. We should be with him, brethren. That, that uh, um, relationship should, should continue as long as we're with him. It's a relationship. So TG, timely greetings, book two. Page um, number 37, page 11, uh, paragraph 2, says here, that is the exact predicament you would be in if you understood history and understood prophecy, but knew nothing about your own spiritual condition. Knew not that you are being, that you were being overcome by the fairy darts of the devil. Brethren, not knowing our own spiritual conditions, though we understood history and understood prophecy, it's it's the it's 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 called here. We will be overcome by the fairy darts of the devil. At, at hindi na hindi mo yan alam, kasi hindi mo din alam kasi yung spiritual condition. What the what is very what is the first important here, brethren? To know our own spiritual condition, our relationship with the Lord. What's the use of knowing all this prophecy? And uh, yes, it's important, but the very first important here is to know our own spiritual condition. Kasi kung hindi natin napabayaan natin ito, we do not know. Know not that you were being overcome by the fairy darts of the devil. Fairy darts of the devil. It would be like walking over a bridge which be unbeknown to you was collapsing. You will agree, I know, that it is absolutely necessary to know both history and prophecy. Absolutely necessary to know the past and the future. 
it's really, you know, brethren, necessary, absolutely. But this in itself will not profit you if your soul is languishing in darkness, if you are spiritually dead and do not know it. It's very important that uh, we know, we knew, brethren, our spiritual condition. And from right there, start reformations. Be revived and reform. Na kahit man siguro mga kapatid, hindi natin ma... In what instant? But what is important, there's a desire. And little by little, brethren, um, start the very first, you know, revival and reformation na makita sa buhay natin. Yes. So yun po. Yun po ang, ano, yun po ang, ang ibig sabihin na um, it will not profit us. Still, nasa, uh, our soul is languishing in darkness if you are spiritually dead. Spiritually dead. Kailan na, pa, paano mo yan mabuhay? By, by the words of God. And the words of God to be, to be with us na makita din sa buhay natin. And, and pa, paano yan na makita sa buhay natin? We start reformation. Know the will of God and start reformation. Mga kunting-kunting, mga, mga bagay, mga kapatid, kailangan i-practice at i-apply. In early writings, 124, verse 3, we're still in the, in the subject about save from my enemies. Uh, how the, the guidance of God in, uh, you know, to be, uh, because God is with us and we are safe from our enemies. But sometimes, as a sheep, may may wonder sometimes and and this is god's guidance to all of us for us to be safe from our enemies here writings 124 paragraph 3 i was shown the necessity of those who believe that we are having the last message of mercy being separate from those who are daily imbibing new errors uh, daily imbibing ng uh, sumisipsip ng, uh, ng mga Mga new errors. It's not just errors, but new. I saw that neither young nor old should attend their meetings, for it is wrong to thus encourage them while they teach error that is a deadly poison to the soul and teach for doctrines the commandments of men. The influence of such gatherings is not good. If God has delivered us from such darkness and error, we should stand fast in the liberty wherewith he has set us free and rejoice in the truth. God is displeased with us when we go to listen to error without being obliged to go. So meaning, hindi ka talaga ino-obliged. So it's at your own uh, decision. Pupunta ka doon. But for unless he sends us to those meetings where error is forced home, to the people by the power of the will. He will not keep us. The angels cease their watchful care over, over us, and we are left to the buffetings of the enemy, to be darkened and weakened by him and the power of his evil angels. And the light around us becomes contaminated with darkness. Nakakapanglilabot mga kapatid. I saw that we have no time to throw away in listening to fables. Our minds should not be thus diverted, but should be occupied with the present truth and seeking wisdom that we may obtain a more thorough knowledge of our position. That with meekness, we may be able to give a reason of our hope from the scriptures, while false doctrines and dangerous errors are pressed upon the mind it cannot be dwelling upon the throat, which is to fit and prepare the house of Israel to stand in the day of the Lord. Elder writings 124 and 125. It's instructing us, brethren, as present truth believer. Um, it's not good to, 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 to really um, attend gatherings that are uh, organized by the enemy. And there, um, tayo ng mga uh, mga errors. Poison. Sabi nga dito, poisons. Unless the Lord sends us. But how, in, how shall we know? Sends us to those meetings where error is, 
is forced. Talagang kung i-force na talaga, is forced home to the people by the power of the will, uh, he, will keep, he will not keep us. Uh, i- i- kung sa ano pa, in Cebuan, ipamugos na yun ba? Ipamugos na yun, we don't have any more the, to, a way to escape, but to meet and oppose in, in testimonies to ministers. The Lord says here, He will not keep us. Talagang uh, tuyuon. You really have to go, ano yan sa Tagalog? Talagang uh, pinuntahan mo talaga. The angel sees their watchful care over us. Uh, kailangan mga kapatid, uh, ano natin, al- alam natin ito. So that's the guidance. Safe from my enemies. Um, there's really an instruction that uh, it's a red flag to all of us as present of believers. Na pag ganun, parang ay, it's, it's an, in a way. In uh, 11 Sibuliko, number 2, page 11, paragraph 2. Now we really are enriched with truth. So as present of believers, uh, re- uh, having this, the last message of the world, the, the, the judgment of the living message, we're really in, enriched with truth. If we have studied and assimilated what has been given us, so it's still a condition. For we have had made available to us the gold that is tried in the fire, that we might be rich, the eyes out that we might see, and the extra oil that, that our way might be lighted. Therefore, the devil is not going to attack us where he attacked Laodiceans, but he will tell us that we are poor in truth. He will do this in almost any way. This is, this is a guidance, you know, brethren, for us, the present for believers. His attack to the Laodicean is different from us. Still, uh, the devil will, the enemy will uh, make us uh, believe that we are still poor and we, 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 we need more, more, more. And, and that's it. The, 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 the danger there is uh, we're inviting queens of doctrines, adding subtraction, uh, believing implications and uh, suppositions and their, their estimations. So, so that's it. We should, we should be aware of this brethren as precinct of believer. Towards a glorious destination, surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. David was sure of two things. First, good and mercy would always follow or chase him. Imagine that brethren, no? Ang, 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 Ang good and mercy ay siyang sumusunod sa inyo kung saan man tayo. No matter how deep the valley or how persistent the enemies, the, center, the certainty of God's goodness and unfailing love and the certainty of His guidance to the very end of our journey is questionable. Second, we have an everlasting home where we dwell in the presence of God Himself. Therefore, comfort one another with these words. So, so, so that's it. Towards glorious destinations. From beginning to end, brethren, that's the leading, that's the, the work of God to us. Indeed, he's the author and the finisher. He's the one working, giving all these you know, uh, situations that we are in, it's, it, is, it is direction. That's why that, that in, in Romans 8.29, all things work together for good. The, all those things are for us, for our own good. In, uh, I will just reread this one, brethren, because uh, this is the one, this, this passage tells us the glorious destinations. Uh, answers, book 3, page 23. Unmistakably, therefore, the light light shedding forth from type and from testimonies of the prophets and from history identified the message of the rod as the only one ordained to lead the latter day church, freed from sin and sinners into the land of promise. To where? And to the land of promise. When the times of Gentiles be fulfilled, Luke 21, 24. In the days of this king shall the God of heaven sit up a kingdom which shall never be destroyed, Daniel 2, 44. That day has come. And the rod of God is here to effect. So it's here. It's already here, brethren. The rod of God. That great reformatory movement among God's people. This is volume 9, page 126. To give power and force to the till the third angel's message, early writings, page 277. So that, clad in the armor of Christ's righteousness, the church, fair as the moon, clear as the sun, and terrible as an army with banners, 
may go forth into all the world, conquering and to conquer. Prophets of Kings, page uh, 725. Carry the rod, who hath appointed it. It is the rod, brethren, that uh, hath appointed all these things. Shepherd starts publications. The rod of God is here to affect the great reformatory movement among God's people. It's not the, the, the rod coming from other uh, associations that, uh, you know, um, giving that uh, saying that still there's a, a reformations, a thorough reformations that uh, needs among God's people. It's very clear here uh, for, for these last days, this latter day church, the Seventh day Adventist church, um, from being a triumph, uh, uh, a, a militant church into a triumphant church. That the church, uh, fair as the moon, that, that he's clad in the armor of Christ's righteousness, fair as the moon, clear as the sun, and terrible as an army with banners, may go forth into all the world, conquering and to conquer. That would be a glorious church, a triumphant church in the future, brethren. We're here in the in this uh, last um, slides uh, reminding us that Satan will seek to discourage the followers of Christ. Yun talaga. Ang ginagawa ng kawe. Madi-discourage tayo. Ano tayo? Ganito. The, the enemy is really working in our, in our midst. Uh, ang sitwasyon natin ay ganito. Mga mahal natin ng kapatid ay saan na? So that they may not pray or study the scriptures. Yun yung gusto ng kaaway. Not for us not to not to continue praying and studying God's words, and He will throw His hateful shadow athwart the path to hide Jesus from the view. Hindi natin makita si Kristo to shut away the vision of His love. Yung talaga na ang hindi natin makita yung working ba? Kung kung reflect natin mga kapatid na inibihan ang Psalms 23. Imagine even the from the feeding up to leading us and protecting us and taking care of us and bringing us towards the glorious the glorious ano the glorious destination yun, yun po ang pagmamahal ng good shepherd natin and the glories of the heavenly inheritance yeah heavenly inheritance brethren what a what a promise it is his delight to cause the children of god ito po ang ano ng ano ng, ng, ng kaaway uh, to delight to cause the children of God to go certainly, tremblingly, na matatako tayo and painfully along, na parati na lang uh, uh, nandyan sa, pa, parang may sakit, under, under continual doubt. So yun po, gawain niya ng kaaway. He seeks to make the pathway as sorrowful as possible. But if you keep looking up, not down at your difficulties. Hindi natin titingnan talaga dahil mga kapatid yung mga difficulties natin. But to look up, you will not faint in the way. You will soon see Jesus reaching his hand to help you. And you will only have to give him your hand in simple confidence and let him lead you. Wow. Ang ganda mga kapatid ng promise niyo. As an earthly shepherd knows his sheep, so does the divine shepherd know his flock that are scattered throughout the world. Jesus knows us individually, and he starts with the feeling of our infirmities. He knows us all by name. He knows the very house in which we live. He knows, he knows us all by name. Alam ng Panginoon na ang pangalan ko ay Renato. So, yun po, that's a promise. That's what he said. He knows the very house in which we live, the name of his occupant. You know, titingnan yung mga kapatid. No inspiration still as this very um, parang ano naman siguro ito? An uh, not that important ba? Pero pinakita ng inspirations for us to to be really assured. He knows us by he knows us all by by our by all by name. He knows the very house in which we live. Alam niya ng address natin. Alam niya kung sino mga kasama. Parang, parang uh, walang ano, walang kung sa ngayon ang pinatawag na yung data privacy. But uh, inspirations that tells us na that's how uh, 
Uh, God really takes care of us. Alam niya lahat. Every soul is as fully known to Jesus as if he were the only one for whom the Savior died. He cares for each one as if there were not another on the face of the earth. Wow. Ang ganda. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. 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 Glory to God. Amen. Nice to hear that uh, Sabbath school lesson. Thank you, Brother Ren, for the lessons as we are the ships and our shepherds are God Almighty, Heavenly Father. Any uh, reflection or question? Yes, yes, I have. Yeah. yeah, go ahead, brother. Yeah, actually, there are three kinds of persons, people, three groups of people. Yung first group, they know Psalms 23 verses 1 to 6. Tapos, uh, uh, rini-recite pa nila, rini-recite, rini-recite. Alam lang nila ang Psalms 23. So, ganun lang. And hoping na totoo sa kanila yun, and hoping na mangyari sa kanila ang bagay nito. Yun yung first group of uh, people. The second group of people, they acknowledge that this is true. Psalms 23, verse 1, 2, 6, tutuon, tutu ito. And yet, they bow down before the Lord and they, they ask the Lord na maranasan nila ang reality ng Psalms 23. Yun yung second group. A third group of people, with much assurance and confidence, they can say, Psalms 23 verse 1 and 6, 1 to 6. Dahil naranasan nila ang katotohanan ito. Ganun si 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 Haring David. Na declare nila niya ang Psalms 23 with much confidence and assurance and experience. Kaya alam niya ang totoong totoo ang Psalms 23 verse 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, yun, sa stages ng spiritual life, we need to come to the point na alam na alam ko ang Panginoon ko, ang shepherd ko. Hindi ako mangailangan. Hindi yung ganun bagay ang kailangan ko, kundi ito, Diyos na nagbibigay ng pangangailangan ko. Tapos sa uh, kahit sa akong pagbunta, para bang meron, meron ang kapayapaan, nararanasan niya ang katotohanan ng Psalms 23. Tapos pag siya naliligaw sa kanyang buhay, pala, ali sa, palayo sa Panginoon, inire-restore back siya ng Panginoon. Nararanasan niya yun. Nawawala yung kabigatan sa buhay. Tapos nararanasan niya ang protection ng Panginoon. Kaya nga, pag uh, babagitin niya itong Psalms 23, uh, lalabas sa bibig niya, with much assurance and confidence and thanksgiving, Worshipping the Lord na totoong-totoo sa buhay niya ito. Yun, dun tayo dapat sa third group of people. Na merong assurance na parating yung kabutihan at kahabaga ng Panginoon. Kahit sa siya, saan siya pumunta, alam niya kasama niya ang Panginoon. So, nasaan tayo ngayon? I hope and pray na dun tayo sa th third group of people na nakakaalam Hindi lamang sa isipan, kundi sa katotohanan, sa karamasan, sa puso, at sa buhay. Kung ano talaga ang reality ng Psalms 23. Pag dumating may pagsubok, dumating man yung mga unos, dumating man yung mga teachings na kala mo seemingly napakaganda, and yet, mararanasan mo sa puso mo na merong bali. Hindi ganun yun. Parang may nagsasabi sa puso natin, hindi ganun yun. Kasi buhay na buhay sa atin, itong Psalms 23, as life and spirit na nagagayt sa ating buhay, amen. Amen, Brad. Amen. Amen. Amen po. Amen, bro. Amen. So may sinishare din po dito si Brother Glenn na. Uh, uh, this Sabbath school lesson, you know, available po ito uh, with integration of the person through into ta uh, type uh, into your browser. Ito po, uh, bit.ly, meet in your season, that's is, is, Sabbath, is, is Sabbath school lesson. 
So nandoon yung mga weekly na mga studies. So any uh, comments brethren, um, reflections? Hello. Questions? Hello. Action. <coughs> Hello. Yes, uh brother Amor, brother Go ahead brother. Good morning po. Happy Sabbath mga kapatid. Um, Happy Sabbath. Gusto kong bigyan ng pansin natin yung mapainom tayo ng lason. Yung do false doctrine. Ang mayroong hinahanap po yung nabasa ako sa sulat ni Sister Ellen G. White na kung anyayahan daw tayo mga kapatid, huwag daw tayong pupunta. Dahil may tendency po na tayo ay mahigayat nila sa pagkat Talagang ay brainwashing po tayo. Ay yung mga iglesia ni Kristo, ganun ang ginagawa. Hinahakot nila, hinadala doon sa simbahan nila. Dahil ito ay isang patutuon ng kinuturuan ko. Uh, talagang ni-brainwash nila doon. Ngayon, now about this one. Uh, kaya lang ang nangyari. Ay iba ang napapansin nila ang pag-uugali kasi... Nung minsan daw nakiusap siya na hindi siya makakadalo, ay nagalit kasi inuuna pa raw yung iba. At sabi, yung anong tiyain mo yan, jabluhan niya yan. Kaya nagalit. Ay huwag man yung pagsalitaan ng tiya ko na jablo. Yan. Kaya hanggang sa dumating sa usapan na sabi ko, pag hindi ka niya nakadalo, titiwala ka namin ay nalalo, nalalo yung nahikayat nila kasi yun nga ititiwala sabi siya sige tiwala ninyo ako ngayon ngayon din kaya ganun po mga kapatid maganda ang aral na binibigay kung wala kang kalaman pero kung mayroon ka kung alam sa Biblia ay pwede kang pumunta doon kung talagang may equip ka ng salita ng Panginoon. Pero kung wala ka pang alam sa kasulatan, talagang madadaya po tayo. Kaya napakahalaga yung pag-aaral ng uh, banal na kasulatan. Uh, kailangan lagi tayong ready sa pagsagot sa mga katanungan. At uh, yun nga po, talagang may tendency tayong madaya kung tayo pupunta noon pag inanyayahan tayo. Pero pag tayo ay nanyayahan, tulad sa akin, inanyayahan ako bilang tagapagsalita, walang problema mga kapatid. Magsasalita tayo. Makakapag-share tayo. Pero kung tayo tagapakinig, ay hindi raw nalulugod ng Diyos sa ating ginagawa na, 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 na parang sinusuportahan natin yung kanilang maling pamamaraan ng pagsamba. Yan lamang po mga kapatid at maraming salamat. Thank you brother, thank you brother Abi. Um uh, before we we'll proceed no, I'd like to welcome nandito ang mga kapatid natin, uh, brother Lucam, brother Junli, brother Greg, brother Mike Polina. Uh, welcome to our Sabbath worship. Sister Melanie, we miss you very much sister. So salamat sa Hi, for joining. Um yeah, um any other reflections or Sino pa ang magsasalita? Uh, magsasalita? We have but uh, ano siguro yung presider natin we're already 10.58 kung makapag-extend tayo hanggang uh, for for another 3 to 5 minutes siguro Brother Roger para mabigyan din yung ibang kapatiran to speak. Mga 3 minutes po. Okay. Anyway, pwede pa man yan. So the, the floor is yes. ano the, <laughs> go ahead brethren for your reflections and uh, additions. Brother, let me share po. Go ahead, sister. Napakaganda po ng ano, no, anong tag dito na ito pong pag-aaral natin. Yung word na crucible. Yung ano, yung anong tag dito, parang kumbaga sa pag ano ng niyog, pipigain mo eh. Pinipiga mo, um, dinadali sa yun. Dinadali sa yun po. Yung ano ba, yung another term sa ano sa crucible yung pagdadalisay na paglilinang kasi bago po mahulma yung isang metal kailangan mo na may paglilinang 
So, ito po yung ano yung paglilinang at pinupunto po dito sa lasa natin. Sino yung naglilinang? Sino yung great refiner? Di ba po? Yung sabi po dito sa, ano, sa Psalm 23, The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. Yung um, binigay po sa atin na sa Isaiah 40.11 na pwede nyo rin po yung, ano, yung binasa kanina na pina, pina, ta, tinutukoy po doon no? the shepherd will feed. So he's a provider. The chef, the shepherd will gather. So he he is a protector, di ba po? And the shepherd will um gather his uh gather his sheep unto his bosom. Sa puso niya po, hindi lang po niya gagather kundi gagather niya sa puso niya. So this the shepherd and po who is um Jesus Christ and um he is very passionate. And in these last days of course, Meron din pong tinata- meron din po tayong nabasa no that, that God will set up a shepherd. So um not to not to idol that uh, that shepherd but ano po to represent, di ba? Katulad po may mababasa din tayo sa Obadiah, di ba? That there will be saviors of the world. They are these saviors of the world are not to replace Jesus, but they are representative of Jesus. And we are called in these last days to be representative of Jesus. And yung sinabi po na, He restoreth my soul. He restore. Hindi po pwedeng ma-restore ang isang bagay kung hindi nawala. So the, the, ang question, ano yung naba, nawala na i-restore ng Panginoon? Remember, di ba po, the lost image of God na He longs to restore in us, di ba po? And um, sa pag-aaral po natin, paano natin malalaman kung Uh, na ma-restore po yun. Kasi yun ang promise ng, ng shepherd eh. He restoreth my soul. Sabi po sa Jeremiah 6.16, Thus said the Lord, stand in the ways and see and ask for the old path. Where is the good way and walk therein? Unless we go back to the history, unless we go back from the very origin, ano po, original, ay hindi po natin malalaman kung ano yung mga bagay na nawala at ano yung mga bagay na i-restore ng Panginoon, di ba po? Because um mababasa din natin po dito yung category po ng isang sheep. Very very careless ang sheep. Very um um sheep is wanderer. Curious, lagi ano siya, pag kahit inaakay na siya ng ano ng ng shepherd up, uh, pipiglas pa rin siya, may pupuntahan pa rin siya ng ng ibang lugar. And kaya nag wander kaya sabi sa Bible that the sheep go astray. Di ba po? At sino po yung sheep na yun? Tayo po yun. Wanderer tayo. Wanderer tayo, wander hindi tayo na ano, hindi tayo na nasasatisfy sa kung ano po yung leadings mismo ng Panginoon. And sabi po doon that um, he, will, um, he will guide us in the path of righteousness. Path of righteousness. In other translation na ginamit ng ating um, um, lesson, um, for me, na hindi, lang, hindi siya specific. Kaya very careful din po tayo when using the translation. Kasi in some translation, they use the word right path. Right path cannot be, um, cannot be righteous sometimes. Di ba po? Pag, paano mo masabi? Right. Right sa, sa mata ng tao, but not righteous in the eyes of God. So we choose to be righteous rather than right. Diba? Kaya nga po yung sabi ng Panginoon, overcome evil with good. Kahit na you have a good point, kahit na meron, kahit na tama yung ginawa mo, kahit na meron kang ebidensya, but give way. Overcome evil with good because that is righteousness. So yung sabi po sa, ano, sa Revelation 12, Ah, Revelation 14.12. Sa ulo po natin yan. Here is the patience of the saints. Here are they that keep the commandments of God and have the faith of Jesus. The faith of Jesus. Pag binasa po natin sa, ano, sa Romans, ano po, Romans 3.22 that says, Even the righteousness of God is of the faith of Jesus. It is the righteousness of God that will lead us into the path of righteousness. So righteousness versus righteousness po. So, kaya nga po, di ba, yung going to the kingdom is a path of righteousness. And we cannot go. Sabi po sa, sa first, I think it's in, in yeah, in, in, in first Corinthians that says, flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God. 
So unless we put the ano, the righteousness of God, that's the only thing that na we can enter into the into the kingdom of God, di ba po? And the kingdom of God, yun po yung pasture, di ba po? Yun yung yung safe pasture. It makes sense me to uh, it it makes sense more to me now po mga kapatid kasi ano malapit po ako sa mga uh, sa mga field, sa mga farm or dairy dairy field dito. At nakikita ko the, yung mga sheep, yung mga yung mga baka, they are all scattered. At kung ma, kung ma, kung makikita niyo lang po kung gaano sila ka scattered as in bundok sa sa kabilang bundok doon pa yung scatter yung ano nila yung hiwa-hiwalay sila hindi sila hiwa-hiwalay sa isang lugar yung isa nandoon doon sa kabilang bundok yung isa nasa kabilang valley yung isa nandoon doon sa ganun po ka ano ka scattered and 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 yung mga farmer ang ginagawa nila is i-gather nila lahat ng mga cows or lahat ng mga sheep para dalhin doon sa ano fold sa isang hindi lang po sa fold bago sila ano bago po sila uh, bago po sila mismo gatasan dadalhin sila sa isang kulungan na kung saan lahat sila lahat ng tupa nandoon doon po hindi pwedeng walang mawaglet kasi hindi magsa-start ang paggagatas kung may may kulang and katulad ng ginawa ng Panginoon doon sa Loshi hindi iniwan niya yung 99 hindi siya ma- maano na basta iwanan niya lang yung isa kahit isa lang po yun. and yung sabi nga po na Um, yeah, though I walk through the valley of shadow of death, the valley of shadow of death, and this death is not only sabi ng Bible na wag kang matakot sa pumapatay ng laman, kundi sa pumapatay ng laman at ng espiritu. So ano katakutan po natin yung pumapatay mismo ng ating espiritu, di ba po? And mga kapatid sa ano, I remember dito sa ano sa Revelation 9:6 kung kung mababasa niyo po yung sa Revelation um, Revelation 9:6 and in those days shall men seek death and shall not find it and shall desire to die and death shall flee from them It is a promise of God mga kapatid kasi during that time sealed na po ang bayan ng Panginoon kasi kahit hanapin pa nila yung kamatayan hindi na po sila mamatay kaya sabi yet do I walk through the valley of shadow of death I will fear no evil. Masasabi ng ano ng mga saints, I will for, fear no evil for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff that comforts me because in, in, in during those time, ano po, kahit hanapin ng tao yung kamatayan, hindi po sila mamamatay. Bakit? Kasi they are sealed by they are sealed already by God. And kung isipin niyo po logically, no, madali lang naman po magpahamatay, 'di ba? Kukuha ka lang ng ng kutsilyo or kahit anong matalim na bagay pwede na muna ng gilitan or tali yung sar- or gilitan yung sarili mo mamamatay ka na kaagad but during this time kahit anong gawin po nila they will not they will not see death because the seal of god is upon them already and that is the promise of god that ye do i walk through the valley of shadow of death i will fear no evil you can walk with confidence with boldness ano po and the last thing is Um, yeah, the rod and the stuff that comforts me. Yun po yung, yung binabanggit sa atin ano, na hear ye the rod and who hath appointed it. It is through the rod of a shepherd na muli po tayo mababalik sa fold. And um, yung sinasabi na in the presence of mine enemies. Sino po ba yung enemies natin? Are those people around us? Are those enemies? Sino po ba yung tinutukoy sa Ephesians 6.12? Nang sabi po dito, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities. It is the principle, yung enemy po natin, the wrong principle that rules, what? That overrules a person, not the person itself. It is the, the principle. So unless we have a right principle in our life, we cannot distinguish the wrong principle that, that, um, uh, that, that Satan is, ano po, that Satan is, um, Satan is trying to 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 seduce a person ano po like katulad kay kay Eve ano po kausap ni akala na ni Eve ang nagsasalita yung serpent but no it was Satan who is speaking he Satan is behind the serpent serpent was created by God perfectly 
So he, he was ano, she was mesmerized by by this serpent who is who is speaking but he didn't know that it na si Satan nagtago lang siya dun sa likod ng ano po ng serpent. So that's how um that's how ano po that's how um dangerous or that's how kung hindi po talaga natin alam yung ano yung principle at hindi natin alam kung paano iko-combat iko-combat yung kaaway kasi baka ang nakokombat na natin yung ano po yung yung tao mismo na na ang kailangan ipanalangin natin yung tao at yung prinsipyo yung maling nag-aano sa kanya ay yun yun ang ating ano po yun po yung iko-combat natin yung maling prinsipyo so ano po eh um, kaya no wonder why god ano po hindi siya naka hindi siya nagkasala noong siya ay nagalit sa loob ng templo bakit kasi ang kinagalit niya po yung maling prinsipyo hindi po yung nagalit siya sa mga taong nagtinda doon kundi sa prinsipyong nag uh, nag rule out doon sa um, sa sa templo and the promise of god is ano po yung yung He will give us that peace that passes all understanding. Yung peace na kahit, di ba, passes all understanding. Lahat ng tao may kakayahang mag-isip, makaunawa. Pero hindi lahat ng kaunawaan ng tao ay kapayapaan ng kapayapaan. Ay dala ay kapayapaan. Kaya sabi ng pag binibigang ko kayo ng kapayapaan that passes all understanding. So, ito po yung pangako sa atin ng Panginoon. And, yung it connection din po siya sa magiging next ano natin next sabat uh, lesson din natin yung sabi kanina ni brother Rene na yung ano po ng kaaway na fiery fiery darts grabe fiery darts po alam niyo po mga kapatid maganda din yung tempo natin sa ano no sa wake of the past session wearing the whole armor of Christ ma alam niyo po po mga kapatid na bakit po tayo tinatamaan ng kaaway ng mga fiery darts, yung mga pana, yung mga apoy na pana na tumatama sa atin. Kasi kulang po yung armor na nagdala-dala na, 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 po natin everyday. Ang akala po natin is enough to have the word of God each day. It is not enough. Kasi sabi ng Panginoon, wear the whole armor of Christ. What is the whole armor of Christ? There is a breastplate of righteousness. Kasi the breastplate of righteousness protects front and back. So kahit anong gawin na kaaway na pana sa atin, protektado po tayo. Because we wear. I- imagine nyo po, makikipaglaban, makikipaglaban um, po kayo na ang dala nyo lang po ay sandata. Kaya, nyo, kaya po bang protektahan ng sandata yung harap nyo at yung likod nyo ng sabay? Di ba hindi po? Kailangan talaga, merong protection sa likod na kahit nakatalikod ka, protektado ka. And, and yung, ano po, yung helmet of salvation and girded with loins and the gospel of peace. So, um, sabi din po sa, sa last, um, last verse na gagamitin ko po is nasa Matthew 10. Matthew 10 um, 27 if i'm not uh, in, if i'm not mistaken po Matthew 10 Matthew 10 38 Sabi po dito and he that taketh not his cross and followeth after me is not worthy of me Hindi post bilang isang ship hindi hindi sapat na marunong lang po tayo lumakad sa sa ano po sa 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 daan kundi ang gusto ng Panginoon his ship will know his voice di ba po katulad po yung sinabi dito sa Mat- Mateo na he that taketh not his cross and followeth me nagfo-follow po sila pero hindi take yung cross meaning kahit mag-follow tayo sa Panginoon without denying ourselves is not worthy of me. So hindi pala po ano enough na sumunod lang tayo sa ano sa shepherd kung hindi po natin alam yung tinig niya. Kasi yung shepherd nagagather siya, di ba po? Hindi ka naman laging malapit doon. Pero once na marinig mo yung boses kahit malayo ka, alam mo po, maano mo, madidistinguish mo. So may God bless us all. May He be the shepherd of our lives um, until 
the end shall come. Amen. 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 Brother Roger, go ahead, Brother Roger. I think it's time for us. Um, time check for divine. Uh, we'll give the time to the chorus report. And then you will be the one to pray, Brother Ren, closing prayer. Okay. Yes, Brother Ren, for our closing song. Let us all stand and sing Whiter Than Snow. Lord Jesus, I love to be perfectly whole. I want thee forever to live in my soul. Make turn every idol cast out of my soul. Now wash me and I shall be whiter than snow. Whiter than snow, whiter than snow. Now wash me and I shall be whiter than snow. Lord Jesus, look to love from thy throne in the skies and help me to make a complete sacrifice. I give up all self and whatever I know. Now wash me and I shall be whiter than snow. Whiter than snow, yes, whiter than snow. Now wash me and I shall be whiter than snow. Lord Jesus, for this, I must have me a trace. I wait blessed Lord, and I crucified feet. Thy faith for my cleansing, I see the blessing. Now wash me and I shall be whiter than snow. Whiter than snow, yes, whiter than snow. Now wash me and I shall be whiter than snow. Lord Jesus, thou seest I patiently wait. And now and we wait yet to create. Sad be thou never such no. Now watch me and I shall be whiter than snow. Whiter than snow, yes, whiter than snow. Watch me and I shall be whiter than snow. Let's let's know for our prayer. Our Father, which art in heaven, Lord, thank you so much for thy words that we have just heard. Thank you for the spiritual uh, food that we are filled. And uh, Lord, thank you for your guidance. Thank you for the Holy Spirit. And uh, help us, Lord, to understand through thy guidance, through thy comforter, uh, the things that uh, you have wanted us to, uh, to understand, that you are our good shepherd and we are your sheep, and that your works towards us, for us, are our own, for our own good. Lord, we cannot uh, do it by our own. Help us to submit to you everything. All the circumstances that we are in, in our lives today, we know, Lord, that you are leading us. It's not an accident, but uh, it's your direction. And uh, help us, Lord, to understand all of this. Send us the Holy Spirit. Give us, give us understanding and that we'll be able to follow according to thy will. This is all we ask, Lord. Thank you for forgiving all our sins. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Uh, may I, for divine worship participants, uh, Sister Joyce Lee as our chorister, uh, we have here, Sister Mercy, and uh, Brother 
Jonathan Portal. And uh, we have the message in song, uh, be ready, the one who is assigned. So we are now going to prepare for this uh, program and uh, we'll give yet the time for our chorister for a moment now while preparing. Thank you. Ms. Joyce, uh, kindly give uh, only one uh, song service. Thank you. Okay, brethren, for our second service, let us sing Tis the Blessed Hour of Prayer. <laughs> Tis the blessed hour of prayer where the hearts are liberated and we gather to Jesus our Savior and friend. If we come to Him in faith, His protection to share. When the night falls to weary, oh sweet to be there. our divine worship let me read some uh, passage here according to john 10 uh, starts from 22 and it was at jerusalem the feast of the dedication and it was winter and jesus walked in the temple in solomon's porch 
Then came the Jews round about him and said unto him, How long dost thou make us to doubt? If thou be the Christ, tell us plainly. Jesus answered them, I told you, and ye believe not the work that I do in my Father's name. They bear witness of me. But ye believe not, because ye are not of my sheep. As I said unto you, my sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. And I give unto them eternal life, and they shall never perish, neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. My Father, which give them me, is greater than all, and no man is able to pluck them out of my Father's hand. Happy Sabbath, brethren. Welcome to our divine worship. Kindly open your camera and say, Happy Sabbath, everyone. Happy Sabbath, everyone. Happy Sabbath, everyone. Happy Sabbath. Happy Sabbath. Nice Brother Anthony. Happy uh, Sabbath for everyone. Wow. Very nice and happy to hear you, brethren, your voice, and even uh, see your face, even uh, uh, virtual. But it's enough right now. And we also have uh, welcome our uh, brethren, no? especially uh, uh, Brother Pastor Polina, Brother Chun Lee, and uh, I may not uh, mention all because uh, we are used to have you brethren and uh, just this moment uh, we are uh, more happy because uh, we see some of our uh, brethren joining here in online. So this uh, divine worship uh, participants we have this chorister only give us uh, already the uh, song service, Sister Joyce Lee, and yours truly, Brother uh, Dupla, a presider this moment. Next of these would be uh, our uh, chorister will do us as an invocation that will be singing Holy Holy, and uh, hymn of praise will be given by her. And then the next would be the scripture reading. And I hope, uh, and I believe uh, there was already a sign to this, as uh, the Kananga brethren uh, pretty much will know about this uh, series of sequence of program. And then the next would be the prayer song, Now Dear Lord. And we have this uh, pastoral uh, prayer to be given to us by Sister Mercedita Cortal. Prayer response by the congregation will be singing, Hear our prayer, O Lord, to be led to us, leaded to us by our chorister. And the message in song, uh, this uh, Sabbath divine worship will be heard from the Agape family. And then the message of the hour, um, will be given to us, will be heard from Brother Jonathan Portal, our ministerial director. Collection of prayer requests will be done through chat box. And then the hymn of consecration will be given to us by our chorister. Closing prayer will be given to us by our speaker. And hymn of assurance will be singing Jesus is coming again. We hope so, brethren, the solemnity and uh, the, the blessedness and happiness for this divine worship this Sabbath will be ours coming from our heavenly almighty Father. So this is the sequence of our program that may go as announced and we'll give back the time to our chorister. Once again, happy Sabbath. Thank 
for for our uh, continuation of our program. Let us sing holy, holy, holy. So for our opening song, let us encode to the feast. Come to the feast by the king our we. Sitting in the house room is me, Bobby. How well it fell from me and me when the king comes in. When the king comes in, brother. When the king comes in. How well it fell with me and me when the king comes in. Rounds on the head where the thorns have been. Glorified he who was night for men. Splendid the vision before us when, when the king comes in. When the king comes in, brother. When the king comes in. How will it bear with me and me? When the king comes in, like lightning's flash, will that instant show things hidden long from the friend and foe? Just what we are, we will eat. When the king comes in, when the king comes in, brother, when the king comes in. Who is 
Dress in white, wearing garments, dressed. I'll never rise every time you a test when the king comes in. When the king comes in, brother, when the king comes in. Again, uh, shall we remain standing as we are going to read the scripture reading for uh, the message of the hour? Our scripture reading will be read in Romans 5, verse 21. That a sin has reigned to death, even so might grace reigneth through righteousness to eternal life by Jesus Christ, our Lord. Shall we kneel down? Gracious, loving Father, Thou art in Him. Thou art worthy of our praises, thanks, give power and we give it life. We thank you for being with us in our Sabbath worship and invite your Holy Spirit to be upon us. And we pray this that as your servant, has your message for us this morning. We pray that you give us an open heart and an understanding of the influence that cometh from thee, that we shall be blessed by your spiritual, your spiritual blessing which you are out to shower. My dear servant, as he the message of the hour, forgive us from all our sins in peace Marinig po ba? Wala pong audio. Ah, yan po. Ah, kayo na lang po ang mag-play. Sige, sige po. Wait. Marinig po ba ang phone? Opo. Yes, I. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank 
Happy Sabbath, brethren, from Luzon to Visayas and to Mindanao, Happy Sabbath. and even in abroad in New Zealand and Thailand, in Japan, in Bangladesh. India, Nepal. Happy Sabbath to each and every one of us in this online platform. Just we have heard the lesson that we have and just we have heard the song that we have and it, for me, it satisfies that we are worshiping the Lord in spirit and in truth. Now our theme today is when the storm breaks, true ships will hear the true shepherd, the true shepherd's voice. Before we go on to our divine message, let the Holy Spirit do upon us in order for us to assimilate the food that we have today 
for our salvation. Shall we pray, brethren? <clears throat> Most gracious Heavenly Father, Lord, thank you for this great opportunity that you give to us. Even though of some hindrances, some uh, uh, bothering moments, O oh Lord, but you are there to open us the path that you lead us, the truth that you bring us in order for us to hear your voice correctly, O oh Lord, to lead us into the kingdom. Your glory, honor, and power, and the spirit be upon us today, O oh Lord. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. <clears throat> my message today brethren now this is always and has been taught to us since from 1888 until now because this is the theme that we need this is the righteousness that the shepherd, the true shepherd, is leading us in order to for us to be perfected in the character of Jesus Christ, in order for us also to be fitted in his heavenly abode. Brethren, the time has come that the true worshipers of the Lord must worship him in spirit and in truth. Because in the truth, there is righteousness. And that, that righteousness is the righteousness of Christ himself. In the first verse of the third chapter of Hebrew, Hebrew chapter three, verse one. We have an exhortation, brethren, from that passage, which comprehends all the injunction given to the Christians, if we think we are. It is this that said, Wherefore, holy brethren, partakers of the heavenly calling, consider the apostle and high priest of our profession, Jesus Christ Jesus. What is our profession? It is Christ Jesus. To do this as the apostle, by, uh, to do this as the Bible enjoined to consider Christ continually and intently just as he is, will transform one into a perfect Christian. Because so many Christians claim today that they are Christians, but almost Christians according to the word of the prophet, Ellen White. Almost Christian, but not fully Christian. Denier in the kingdom of heaven, but they did not enter therein. Almost but not wholly saved means to be almost but wholly lost. That is the sad, sad deception. If we think we are Christian, but not a perfect Christian because Christ, the righteousness of Christ, which is the word of God, the power of God unto salvation to them that believe will transform us into a perfect Christian because by beholding, we become changed. What is beholding, brethren? The meaning of the word itself tells us that we have to be perfectly looking into details 
of the righteousness of Christ, brethren. The details of it, meaning nothing can be shared of it, nothing is to be left behind, but everything must be absorbed in our hearts and in our mind in order for us to be a perfect Christian. As the shepherd laid his sheep into righteousness, as the shepherds lead into the valley, even in the shadow of death, we shall fear no evil, for he is with us. If Christ be with us, who can be against us? Ministers of the gospel have an inspired warrant for keeping the theme. We have the theme. Christ continually before the people and directing the attentions of the people to him alone. This is the, the essence of the message. By, by beholding, we will become changed. Now, alone. Paul said to the Corinthians, 1 Corinthians 2, verse 2, and there is no reason to suppose that his preaching to the Corinthians was different in any respect from his preaching anywhere or elsewhere. Indeed, he tells us that when God reveals his son in him, it was that might preach him among the hidden, according to Paul. Galatia 1 verse 15 and 16. And his church was that to him grace had been given to preach among the Gentiles the unsearchable riches of Christ. Brethren, the theme is that when that storm breaks, true sheep will hear the true shepherd's voice. It must be always that Christ alone must be in our hearts and in our minds as he leads us through his heavenly abode. But the fact that the apostle made Christ the burden of all the preaching as it is said that whosoever believe in Christ and believe his word they are his disciples we, that is also our burden of all our preaching in all our talking it's not our soul magnifying him. It's not only to magnify Christ, to magnify the Lord. His name is the only name under heaven, given among men whereby we can be saved. Not to any church, not to any name of an organization, brethren, not even the title of our organization or association. No, brethren, the Bible says, a name under heaven given among men where we can be saved. What name? The name of Jesus, brethren. Christ himself declared that no man can come into the Father but by him. John 14, verse 6. He is leading us of our Father. To Nicodemus, he said, And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so must the Son of Man be lifted up, that 
Whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have an everlasting life. Not just come to our church, come to our group in order that you, have, you can obtain an everlasting life. No, brethren, it's not. It's a misleading statement. It's a misleading words. It's only through Christ. And if our organization have Christ in the midst of it, then we can be sure that through Christ, our organization is in righteousness. Through his words, because said Jesus, I am the way, the truth, and the life. The truth is in his word. The rod, the shepherd's rod that leads us to the kingdom. This lifting up of Jesus, while it has primarily reference to his crucifixion, embraces more than the mere historical fact. It means that Christ must be lifted up by all who believe in him as crucified redeemer, whose grace and glory are sufficient to supply the world's greatest need. It means that he should be lifted up in hope in his exceeding loveliness and power as God with us that his divine attractiveness may thus draw all unto him, according to John 12, verse 32. Brethren, I myself cannot lift it up, cannot lift up in the name of our organization, even though I am with a certain organization. But I can only lift up the name of Jesus where all who believe can be saved. Only that name, brethren. Only that name. And because of that shepherd, the true shepherd, which is Jesus Christ himself, can lead into righteousness, into a right path, into a the road towards heavenly kingdom into the road where we can have peace, joy, and harmony. That indeed we long for. Right, brethren? That what we are longing for. The exhortation to consider Christ and also, therefore, are given in Hebrews 12, verse 1 to 3. Therefore, seeing we also are compassed about with a great cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight. What are those weights? The things that are not needed for our salvation, that weight us up bringing down, bringing us down, if it, rather than bringing us up. And the sin which that easily visit us and let us run the race patiently with the race that is set before us, walking in Jesus the author and finisher of our faith. Who has to look into? Sometimes people, they are to die for their church. They are to die for their, of their organization. They are to defend more and more but are not trying to defend the name of God, the name of Jesus. It is the love that 
we have will determine who is leading us. Brethren, who for the joy that was sick before him enjoyed the cross, despising the shame, and I sit down at the right hand of the throne of God. For consider him that endures such contradictory or contradiction of sinners against himself, lest ye be wearied and faint in your minds. It is only by constantly and prayerfully considering Jesus as he is revealed in the Bible, that we can keep from becoming weary in well-doing and from fainting by the way, brethren, because we are running the race. We are raising ourselves one with another towards that heavenly journey. Again, we should consider Jesus because in him are hid all treasures of wisdom and knowledge. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge, according to Syria, or six, because they rejected knowledge. Who is that knowledge? It is Jesus. Sometimes we cannot comprehend. And Jesus is knocking our hearts. Why he is knocking in hearts? Because he is outside in our hearts. Sad, sad situation. And some people cannot comprehend about it. But as a true follower of a true shepherd, we know his voice. We know his leading. Because in the first place, the true shepherd surrender himself to the true shepherd. Surrendering himself in order for him to learn and know that he is following the true shepherd. Without surrendering brethren, there is a constant refusing because his own righteousness is not set aside. There must be a surrender. There must be to lay aside every weight that visit us, the sin that dragging us, the heavy loads that weight us down towards this earth, sinful world. Now, brethren, he said, and all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge are hid in Christ, so that he who has only the wisdom of this world knows in reality nothing. And since all the power in heaven and earth is given to Christ, the apostle declared, Christ to be the power of God and the wisdom of God. First Corinthians 1 verse 24 and Matthew uh, 29 verse 18 and 19. Brethren, as it is said that the team of us now, we should always be looking towards the shepherd, the true shepherd, in order for us to endure as he endured in the cross, as in order for us to endure the run that we race, that we cannot be fainted in all manners 
of uh, wells of Satan, brethren. There is one text, however, which briefly sum up all that Christ is to man and give the most comprehensive reason for considering him. Apostle Paul says, it is this, but him are ye in Christ Jesus. Praise the Lord. We are in Christ Jesus. Who of God made us, made unto us, Wisdom. He is our wisdom. And righteousness. He is our righteousness because our righteousness is like a filter rug. And sanctification. Sanctify them through the truth. Thy word is true. Who is that word? It is Christ, it is Christ again. sanctifies us we can be sanctified through him and him alone and redemption brethren can you see is there anything that is lacking nothing is lacking The word says in Psalms 23, 1 to 6. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. We don't have any want anymore. Because there's no lacking. There is no lacking. Everything is there. Everything is there. First Corinthians 1, verse 13. We are ignorant, brethren. We are wicked, lost, but we are found. Our sins are forgiven, praise to the Lord. Christ is to us the wisdom, righteousness, redemption. What a range. It is like a, a, an earth and heaven. A great, great branch, brethren. Now, in order for us to be connected with that branch, we need Christ. We need Christ, brethren. From ignorance and sin to righteousness and redemption, man's highest aspirations are need cannot reach outside the bounds of what Christ is to us and what he alone is to us. Sufficient reason, this is why the eyes of all should be fixed unto him and upon him alone. I have to give more words here alone because there's nothing in this world whereby any name, nothing can give us salvation except that one name and one name alone. The name of the true shepherd, Jesus Christ, as I said, I am the true shepherd and the true shepherd shall lay his life for the sheep. Yeah. Glory to God. That there is Jesus, brethren, that lead us. And really, he is giving his life for us. We must fix our eyes on him. Because by beholding, we may become changed. We will become changed. But how should we consider Christ? Just as he has revealed himself to the, in the, to the world. According to the witness which he bore concerning himself. Whose witnesses? Those people that with him. 
our witnesses. In that marvelous discord recorded in the fifth chapter of John, Jesus said, for us the Father rises up the dead in uh, John 5, verse 21 to 23. Rises the dead and quicken them. Even so the son quicken whom he will. So what the father can do, the son can do also. For the father judges no man, so the, so the son, uh, so, but he has committed unto judge, uh, the, all the judgment unto the son that all men should honor the son even as they honor the father. The word honor brethren, what does it mean? We have to honor every details, every details of his word and believe it. What is believing? Believe, the word believe is no word. It is nothing. But believing through faith, it works. It works, brethren. It works by love. It's Christ. It's love. We love to follow his word. And that by loving to follow his word, we cannot dare to be dragged behind. We cannot dare for us to be left behind, but to follow every step of the way as Christ leads us into all righteousness. For the gospel of Christ, it is the righteousness of Christ. He that honoreth not the Son, honoreth not the Father which is in, hath sent him. Just like in, in, uh, Matthew 7, verse 21. Not everyone that said unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. But he that the will of the Father, which is in heaven, if we cannot honor the Father, we are not also honoring the Son. As if we are not the Son, we impliedly not honoring the Father. If we cannot consider his words, we are not honoring him. We are defying him. This is a sad situation. The Christ is committed the higher, highest prerogative, that of judging. He's the judge when the time comes. But, to, but in this situation, he's still the the highest priest continuing pleading and pleading for us before the Father. He has received the same honor that is due to God. And for the reason that he is God, the beloved disciple bears with this witness. In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. John 1 verse 1. That divine word 
is none other than Jesus Christ is shown by verse 14 that the word was made flesh and dwelt upon, uh, upon us and we beheld his glory the glory as of the only begotten of the father fall of grace and truth when you say fall there's nothing left behind there's nothing there's not anything that we want we have everything because Christ is everything for us. Brethren, the word was in the beginning. The man, the man's mind cannot drop the ages that are spanned in this place. It is not given to men to know where, to know where and when or how the son was begotten we that he but we know that he was divine word not simply because he came to this earth to die for us but even before the world was created just before his crucifixion he prayed and now, Father, glorify thou me in own self with the glory which I had with thee before the world was. John 17, verse 5. <coughs> Excuse me. And more than 700 years for his first advent. His coming was thus foretold to the world words of inspiration but thou be him Ephrata, though thou be little among the thousands of judah yet out of thee shall come forth unto me that is to be ruler of israel whose going forth have been from the old from the days of eternity micah 5 verse 2 we know that christ proceeding forth and come from god in John 8 verse 42. But it was so far back in the ages of eternity as to be far beyond the grasp of the mind of man. Brethren, what is the purpose of this message? The purpose of this message is that we should have in ourselves to focus only to the righteousness of our Christ Jesus, to focus only to the leading of Christ Jesus, to focus only that bread that he offered to us that we are we can eat even in the even in the presence of our enemies the bread that gives an everlasting life the bread that make us righteousness because the righteousness that we long for is Christ's righteousness. Brethren, this is the message. This is the all-time message as we live and ought to live even for eternity. If we can bear the character of Jesus Christ, we can endure our race, our longing to be among the redeemed that can say our results. This is Jesus. We long him. This is Jesus that we are waiting for. 
This is the Jesus that our King of Kings. Brethren, it is said in Jeremiah 33, verse 16, In those days shall Judah be saved, and Jerusalem shall dwell safely. And this is the name wherewith we shall be called, the Lord our righteousness. This is the message, and may God bless us all. Amen. Amen, Brad. Amen. 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 Glory to God to the message of the hour that we have heard. It's uh, divine worship. Uh, glory to God. Uh, amen to God. Thank you, Brother John, for the very nice uh, message this moment. I think uh, we'll give the time to our voice uh, on the post uh, song. And we have the prayer request in the chat box. Kahit yun natin ni Kapo yung ano, mag-graphic pray po. I'll just uh, reflect it in the screen. Okay, brother. Okay, brother. For our closing song, let's all stand and sing Oil All the Land. From the land of the saints now appear, telling us soon our dear Savior will come. Long was the one filled in watch, hope, and fear. Waiting for the blessed hope, come say, Savior, come. Sound forth the tidings, long, loud, and clear. Jesus is coming, and soon we love this. All hearts respond as we long for our hope. Quickly come, blessed Jesus, come, Savior, come. Signs in the sun and the moon and the stars Faithfully show that the great day is near Nations distressed by the rumors of wars And the hearts of wicked men are failing for fear Sound for the tidings, love, loud and clear Jesus is coming and soon will appear all hearts respond as we long for our hope. Quickly come, blessed Jesus, come, Savior, come. These to the pilgrim are all means of cheer, toiling and sighing in life's gloomy way. All out proclaim that the Savior is near, and the light is dawning of that soon coming day. Sound for the sun, for the stars, faithfully show that the great day is near. Nations distressed by the rumors of war, and the hearts of wicked men are faith for fear. Let us pray, brethren. <clears throat> Most gracious Heavenly Father, Thou art great and mighty. Thou art righteous and holy, O Lord. 
gray gathered together before you this time, O oh Lord. For we are your subjects. We are your followers. The faith that you give to us, O oh Lord, embraces us to your plan of redemption. Lord, we give to you ourselves, our minds, the ways that you give to us, O oh Lord. We give ourselves into thy direction and to thy holiness that we behold the image that we long for, O oh Lord, the image from the beginning that you molded our first parents in the Garden of Eden. Lord, we long to go back to that place. We long to go back into that righteous holy land that you sustain us everything There is no lacking, O oh Lord. And today we pray, Lord, that each and every one of us may be sustained with a righteousness as we run the race towards that hidden the kingdom. Running the race, Lord, we know that it's not easy. We may stumble. And may we be left behind. But by looking through you, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of yours, O oh Lord, we may become changed from our weakness to thy strength, from our filthiness to thy righteousness, O oh Lord. And may your Holy Spirit be about us as we go on to that journey. Lord, we pray most especially that the things that you left behind left us, O oh Lord, in order for us to do things as you as your righteousness is imparting to us, O oh Lord. We pray that the endeavors that you give to us, just like the Bible study in Japan every Sunday, that they will be available this coming Sunday, O oh Lord, or tomorrow. That the students, Lord, may come forth and study more with a truth that you give to us in these last days. We pray also that the ministry that started in Sambuanga, Lord, as they are endeavoring to let the, the, the youth and the brethren be guided accordingly to the truth that you give to us, O oh Lord. May always be uh, done according to the, to the plans that we have, O oh Lord, with your, uh, with your presence. And we pray also the, re the request of the brother, Brother John Riang, that God may grant him all the comfort in these times of sorrows, in these times of grief, the strength that he may have in order for him to go forward as he experienced the death of his mother. We pray, Lord, that you will comfort him. We pray also for the study of Brother William in Pasita. He's searching for truth that you lead him always, Lord, 
that even though with the presence of the brethren from vision, he can stand according to the truth that he has, O Lord. The first love that he has for you, O Lord. We pray for our coming youth camp this coming July 18th, face to face with the youth brethren coming from Luzon and in Visayas and in Mindanao. May your comforting and peaceful with their journey, O oh Lord, to this coming meeting. Be always with them, O oh Lord, with the safety of their journey. We pray also for the ongoing construction and development of the National Center located in Kananga Leyte, Philippines. Lord, that the construction may be completed accordingly as to thy plan, O Lord. The construction may be completed for thy glory, O Lord, not for the glory of any man, that everyone may comprehend that you, Lord, is leading with this camp, O Lord. We pray, O Lord, also, that weekly health reform service message for Hituda uh, is church in Nepal, as Brother Glenn has started, as Brother Glenn has shared to this people, as Brother Glenn always encouraging that health reformation as the right time, right hand of the third angels may be impressed to the mind and hearts of this brethren. Lord, there are many things to say unto you, but you know our hearts, our minds. We, we know that you know our hearts, even though we cannot express everything in our prayers to you, but you are there, O oh Lord, as the words, as thy word says, that the word is quick and powerful, even though even it is the discerner and intents of the heart. Lord, we pray that all the words that we utter today may be a sweet, sweet shiver into the presence that we may be holding the answer of our prayer, O oh Lord. We ask all these things of the name of Jesus Christ, our Savior, Amen and amen. 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 Let the words of our mouth and the meditations of our hearts, of our hearts acceptable and blessed in the sight of the Lord, Lord our, our strength and our, our Redeemer. Amen. 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 <clears throat> Jesus is coming again. Cheer up, you pilgrims, be joyful. Jesus is coming again. Coming again, coming again. Jesus is coming. Happy Sabbath, everyone, and it's time. Happy Sabbath. <laughs> okay, thank you for our followers in FB Live and uh, also our followers here in our platform Zoom. God bless you and happy Sabbath. Let's have our last potluck. Okay. Happy Sabbath. Go down.